Good morning. Raspberry chamomile. My very own pet lobster. Hey, sleepyhead. Mom has your treat. Mom has your treat. There you go. Good morning. Are you tired? Are you extra tired this morning? Huh? Yeah. There goes that tail. There's the happy tail. Good morning, everyone. I am off to the library to count skeins of yarn and needles. <laughs> I decided to just get it done this morning. So I got up and showered quick and I have knitting at 11. So I'm in the library ramp and getting ready to run in there and count. And then uh, after knitting, I have physical therapy. So I'll take you along, but it's not a very exciting day. Um, I'm going to give some cookies away to some people today. So I got bags of cookies with me. Uh, yeah, other than that, my husband was changing oil on my car when I got up this morning. He had a break in his day. He's working from home and I came to let Cody in. My car was jacked up and I was like, uh, I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm leaving at 10 o'clock. <laughs> so he's like, I'll get it done. <laughs> you never know around my house if you're going to have a vehicle because he's either washing it or cleaning it or changing oil or rotating tires or bleeding brakes. So anyway, it's one day before Christmas Eve. I wish you all a happy day with filled with sunshine, which is what I have, which I'm so thankful for. It's 29 degrees, which is great for us. And uh, I'll talk to you soon. So I do have some needlepoint that I have done around the house. And so I thought I would show you the glare is pretty bad here. I'm trying my best to get it out of the glare, but that one hangs in the stairway. And here's a picture that I have in the spare bedroom upstairs hanging over the bed. That is a wood cutting print that I got in Duluth, Minnesota years ago. I'd really like to move it downstairs, but it fits the theme of this bedroom, which is woodsy. <laughs> and I said I would share some of the modeling pictures when Kylie was little. She modeled for CWD catalog, uh, which was in Richmond, Virginia. So she did a bunch of, of modeling. That light is in the way. I'll see what I can do here. I don't want to take these off the wall if I don't have to. So these are upstairs. So she did a bunch of really cute, very cute outfits. And she enjoyed doing it, except sometimes she'd have to model with a little boy and sometimes it was hot. Like when she was on the cover, the year she was on the cover, it was so hot that day. I cannot even tell you how much she was sweating. And we had curled her hair and then she had this fur coat and fur hat on. It was incredible. And then I have these two little pieces upstairs that I cross-stitched years ago. And then this is the last one of her. So she did that sweater and then she was on a swing in this one and these just hang in the upstairs hallway <laughs> headed down by her room so kind of fun memory Cross stitch in this room the four seasons so spring and then autumn and then fall and then winter 
So I cross-stitched those back in the day, and that hangs in the second room up here. So if you have not watched this week's podcast, I have a new pattern that came out called the Dear Friends Cowl. There is a coupon code uh, till the end of the month. Use the code FRIENDS and get a discount. Um, and it's two color brioche. So one side will have the brown as the dominant color and the other side will have the orange. And then you can pick and you just work across and then slide your stitches back to the end of the circular nerd and work, work across again. And then you turn and you work across and across again. So only one color at a time, you're not holding two colors. And so the brown will show here, and then the other color will show here. And you just fold it in half and bring it up and around. There's a pictorial in there in the pattern to show you how to do it. You do not make buttonholes. These are just sewn on on top to hold it shut. It can be worn down in the front or up and off to the side, whichever you prefer. And then this is the second one. It's made, meant to be done with like multiple mini skeins. Um, this is a bulky yarn. You just have a little uh, reverse stockinette stitch here. So the, this front side, your, the orange is dominant the whole way or the rust color, but on the back, the brown or the green would be dominant. So you can kind of see what you prefer. So then you come up over here and here's the brown and then the buttons are just sewn on over the top. Could do it in one color, but if you're learning brioche, I recommend two. Hey everybody, I am back at home and sitting in the chair. Um, I had my physical therapy and it went really well. She got me very loosened up, felt so much better. And then I got my car and drove home, which was almost a half an hour. And now I'm kind of tight again. Not terrible, but I was much better when I left her office and I wished I could have kept that looseness, but... Anyway, I'm back at home and Ross went to run to the gym and I said, no, I can't go. And I am just starting to edit a little bit of the upload for tonight. And I thought I showed you some pictures from when Kylie was a model, as well as some needlepoint and then some wood cutting, uh, a print that I have, which is by Betsy Bowen. And she lives in Grand Marais, Minnesota. And she has a lovely web website. And she has books, and her alphabet book has the yarn in it. So if you're interested, you could go to her website. Um, she has prints and cards and things that you can purchase, um, which is lovely. She's got some lovely stuff. And then I think we're going to grab a bite to eat out because we need to get groceries. So we might just, I don't know, we may pick up a rotisserie chicken or drive through somewhere. I don't know. Maybe bring home a pizza. I, whatever. Um so we don't, we don't have to cook tonight. And then tomorrow is Christmas Eve and we are celebrating with Kylie and Stevie coming over. And so we need to get groceries for that. She just called and she's getting a new phone and she needed her dad to log in and add her to the account because we've always been there when she's gotten a phone and her phone is, is old and he had told her to get one. So... It's always something, right? You always have something to that you got to take care of uh, before you can move on. So I just thought I would pop in here a bit and say, well, t I'll take you along depending on where we go and what we do here. I have some more knitting to do. I've got the blanket in my lap here. I can give you an update on how far I've gotten from that, but it's about this much. I really have not, have not added as much as I would have liked because with my parents here, I didn't didn't knit that much, but um, we're alone on Christmas Day and on Sunday. Um, the Vikings play, so I will just knit on it, and he will get it next week, hopefully. I just need to get to that 60 inches, so maybe I will measure it and show it to you now. It was just lovely here today. We got to almost 40 degrees. The snow is melting, and Cody just loves to be out in it. Of course he's eating snow which he loves but yeah the sun shone most of the day and now it's dusk and we have some oranges and pinks in the sky over there so that's awfully pretty you're not gonna bring them back to mom 
No, we're just gonna drop them out there. Do you smell something? Yeah. The coyotes went through the other night. I could hear them, little babies. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> they were yipping and howling. Just tiny little voices. So they, we have a little wetlands off to the left of our house that goes down. There's a little dip. And uh, I think that's where they live. There's some woods kind of over there and I could hear them through the window late at night. So I think you can probably smell them. Cause I don't think all those tracks are Cody's out there. Do you like the cold, huh? Bring them back. Bring the balls. Okay, there's the blanket to date. I can no longer put it up on the top and then not have it roll and come out on the bottom. So definitely has grown since the last time I showed you. We've got the four markers in there. I'd like to find another orange to put in there. I think you would all agree that we've got two big swaths of blue. We have a big swath of green, but now we could use another little orange toward the top somewhere. And this is how far I've gotten. So another four or five inches, I will measure it. So I'm right between about 41 to 42 inches, somewhere in there, not quite. This is a little loose here, but I don't have both hands to hold this down. So I'm right in that range. So I still have you know, at least 15 inches to do, which is quite a bit, but I will hold it up here. So right now it's touching the ground and I'm holding it above my waist, but not by my shoulders. So it touches the ground on me and I'm pretty short. So it definitely needs to be longer for him because he's definitely taller than I am. So I came over to my big jar here of yarn and I found these three since I have some oranges in that blanket already. So I think I'll add a little bit more orange. Everything is so festive, a little local restaurant so you guys have seen me more in my pajamas than anyone ought to but i have dog pajamas sheep pajamas and knitting pajamas <laughs> and i like to wear new pajamas every day and i'm in them a lot <laughs> after supper so anyway i'm just getting ready to upload i thought i would come in and say happy thursday happy christmas eve 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 and I uh, have a hat to finish before tomorrow. Um, I sent the other brown hat home with my mom. <laughs> I'm not really sure what I was thinking. So I have to do the cabled part of the top of this hat to give to Stevie tomorrow. I have one for Ross, but I wanted to have one for Stevie. And so it is 8.30. And uh, we did grab a bite to eat out and uh, yeah. I took a little nap. I laid in the chair and closed my eyes and Ross came out and I think he was ready to go. And I opened my eyes and looked at him and then he's like, you were sleeping. I said, I wasn't sleeping. I was just <laughs> dozing. So he went back in the bedroom for another half an hour and then he came out and I was like, what are you doing? And he's like, well, you were sleeping. So we got up <clears throat> late, start doing what we needed to do. Whatever. All right, so I'm going to knit. I'm going to finish the top of this hat and then work on the blanket until I am tired and need to go to bed. The kids are coming over at 11. We are having no peak beef tips, which is absolutely easy to make. You put them in the in a like cake pan for three hours and don't peak. Uh, the topping is ginger ale, dry onion soup mix, brown gravy, and cream of mushroom soup. Um, and you just bake them low and slow. And we're gonna have them over egg noodles. That's how Ross prefers it. I like it over mashed potatoes. But
but um, we're gonna have broccolini and red leaf lettuce salad and all those recipes I'm pretty sure I have shared on the podcast so they would be in the recipe thread on Ravelry <laughs> but we're gonna make it easy we don't want to have a ton of cleanup and then I just called Kylie and said uh, do you guys are you guys making dessert she says don't we have Christmas cookies <laughs> and I said yes we do she said then we're good so we'll probably play a couple games in the afternoon and unwrap presents and then eat and then they they'll make it a fairly early evening I think because they have to go to another Christmas the next morning so yeah you know it seems to me like we take all month to prepare right all about the preparation the decorations shopping 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 wrapping wrapping entertaining and then it's over <laughs> like that but and I'm kind of I'm kind of glad it's over like that <laughs> I wouldn't want a week-long celebration because I'm pooped already just having my folks here and I yeah I was up early this morning so anyway my back is looser than it was um, but it's not it's not as good as it was when I left her office which is a bummer because I really it was so she worked on my shoulder too she worked on me for an hour and she does like slow pushing release just gentle tiny little movements like this to just get things lubricated never had a experience like what she does but yeah I walked out of there and stepped up into my car Rel with relatively no pain and she said I can get there she said I don't think you need to see your back doctor you can go she said but that's a, you know they do what they do and I do what I do <laughs> so anyway I mean I better get knitting I will talk to you guys all tomorrow and then it's our last day so we will go back to our regularly scheduled every other week schedule <laughs> which for me will be kind of nice to not drag the camera out every two minutes all day long and then drive away from somewhere and forget and go, oh, I should have I videoed that. I'm just not very good at it. And, you know, I'm using my phone. I should just get a camera, but whatever. I did my first vlog, miss. I got through it. <laughs> I'll get better in the future as things go on. Thanks for all your lovely comments and I'll see you tomorrow.